what's up everybody on this video we're gonna drive through montgomery alabama we're on the east side of the city now on interstate 85 and we're gonna drive clear through montgomery um, i can usually make it from the northern suburbs to the eastern suburbs in 21 to 22 minutes that's in no rush too so that's how long it takes to drive clear across Montgomery usually so I want to show you guys how easy it is to, to go in, in the north you know where I live in the north suburbs to the east suburbs that's the furthest points in the metropolitan area so you can literally drive to the metropolitan area within a reasonable time frame something like 22 minutes to drive clear across the metropolitan area so it's a very easy drive across this metropolitan area it's three o'clock now, 3.16. So it's not rush hour, but there's not much of a rush hour regardless. Going 65, I'm gonna step it up to 70 here to keep up with traffic. All right, now we're at 70. Just to keep up with traffic here. We're actually still going a little bit faster than that. But it, it's really a, a common question on my channel is how long does it take to drive across Montgomery? Not much. I mean, that's uh, Eastern. We just passed there, which is the loop that goes around the city. Now we're at Perry Hill. Is that Perry Hill, right? Yes. And we're two minutes into this, and we're already at Perry Hill. Well, this exit here, you got all of the city's kind of like medium class neighborhoods. They're not fancy, but they're not bad. They're not good. They're just kind of in the middle. Anything behind us is the suburbs. Anything kind of moving forward is kind of like the nicer part of the city. A lot of people get mad at me because I refer to some parts of the city limits as suburbs, but that's really what they are. It's the nicer side of the city, I get it, but yeah, some people don't like that, but you know, city limits versus whatever. We'll be in downtown soon. It's a pretty quick drive, like I said. Um, I can drive clear across the metro area in like less than 25 minutes for sure. So it's not like, uh, I don't know, it's just really an easy, really easy city to commute, commute through. When I first moved to Montgomery area, I assumed that I would have to work in Montgomery and then drive out into the suburbs. But the reality is we get more work in the suburbs than we do in the city. So we're not always driving to Montgomery. We're actually... Rarely. I thought there would be a traffic jam, for example, in the afternoon. Everybody that works in Montgomery driving back into Prattville and Millbrook and beyond. It's actually not even the case. So um, I hate paralleling semis. Let me see if I can speed up here and get past this. I don't like to parallel anything, let alone a semi. Let me speed up a little. And now we're kind of approaching the central part of the city. We'll start to see some of the downtown buildings. Behind us is Atlanta, and if we keep going straight and we'll go south, Mobile, we we'll go north, Birmingham. But yeah, there's really not a traffic jam. I, I assumed that there would be a traffic jam on 65 heading north as everybody heads into the suburbs, but there, there's really no commute here. I mean, it's it's easy all the way around. Every once in a while you get a traffic jam into an accident. But there is no commute. What the crap is stuck underneath that semi? He's got a bunch of crap flying underneath him. He hit something. downtown here. These are the downtown exits. Starting to be downtown exits. Three lawnmowers. That sounds like a nice little lawn right there. Yeah, buddy. Maxwell um, is in front of us as well. If we keep going on this road, 
25 who kept on straight who turned Day Street. And you got Maxwell there. Maxwell is a big military base, which brings a lot of people to the area from uh, California to Oregon, Washington, Texas, you know, everywhere really. These are people from everywhere out here. I've even seen Hawaii for some reason. Yeah. So yeah, the military brings a lot of people to the area. How do you even get a car from Hawaii to over here? Not sure. But that brings people to the area. A lot of Texas, a lot of Florida. I see more Texas tags than Florida tags around here. I gotta go on the about over there. Uh, okay, but if we you can see here, most traffic's turning north. Not a lot of traffic turning south into Mobile area. Uh, we will do the Mobile area. I just haven't got around to it, y'all. We'll get around to it eventually. No matter how you do. Like people act like we're like Superman. Like we can just cover like the whole country in two days. It's a lot of driving. We are dri How many hours? I bet we spent 30 hours a week driving from point at A least. to point B. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah I no may doubt. be super care, but I can't be in 50 places at once. Yeah. There's only so much we can do. Okay. We're thinking about starting a channel for Katie called Super Karen, which will um, cover her Karen like exploits. My antics. Antics. Yeah, yeah. Now we're heading north on 65, Interstate 85 ends or starts there, depending on how you want to look at it. I like to look at it as it ends here, then not like it starts here. But if you want to get fancy, you can say it starts here. Starts in Montgomery. And Interstate 65, we're heading north now. And that's it. Seven minutes to drive right across the city. Once we cross this little river, we're now in, uh, we're still in Montgomery City Limits, I think, but that's about it. You can see the entire skyline to the left, if you look to the left, the right, I'm sorry. But that's it. I mean, there's north, and north is, uh, you know, you have east, it turns into north, and the north, there's no west, is there? There's no west. What? There's a south, there's a east, and a north, but there's no west. It's all the same road that loops around, so... This is the other side of the loop right here. This kind of loops over. And if you keep going on north, it turns into east. East turns into south. Nothing turns into west. There's no west. I bet if there was a west, it would have businesses and stuff just like all the other roads do. But, uh, there it is. I mean, just about eight minutes, we drove clear through Montgomery. That's all it takes. We'll be in Elmore County here in a few seconds, so... That's it. Eight minutes to drive clear through Montgomery. What do you guys think?